Hi guys, welcome back to Rat Pathfinder Wrath of the Righteous campaign we're doing. Uh, this is run two. So we're just starting it out. We're still in the underground. And that's about it. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, continue. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's about not much, man. Just We just started. There you go. First episode's up. If you want to... Um, where to score the game is right down below. Underground Crusaders is a bit of a mouthful, so people usually just call us mongrels. repeating that, don't you, Land? Mongrels. That's what the Uplanders call us. What we call ourselves, we need theirs. No matter what you call us, it's not going to stop our horns, hooves, or tails from growing. In Canagra, they're called mongrels. People say that they come up to the thrusts at night as if anyone foolish enough to wander alone after midnight. To tell you the truth, I thought you guys were just a tale to tell kids at night. That's human gratitude for you. Our forefathers suffered the consequences of demonic corruption, all to protect Mongo than Galarian. We told you that. So we could become monsters, you to frighten children. Thank you. 
This is where the relics of the first crusaders are displayed. Our lives are short. Our glories are quickly forgotten. This helps us to remember that we are just as worthy as anyone else. We are the first crusaders. You've been down here that long? That's crazy. We're looking for a holy sword. It was here, in the center, sticking out of a rock. The sooner we find it, the better. Some kids from our tribe took off for the shield mail. They figured it had come out, and now it's their time to go up to the surface, like all the legends foretold.
we get to the presidential election, which will have a big moment over there this week as the CNN presidential debate will take place this coming Thursday. That's going to set up President Trump for campaigning in Pennsylvania not long after that debate. And this is as the race tightens, even in places like New York, which has gotten within eight points. Take a look at the choice of president in New York. 47% for Joe Biden was surprising the lead. This is always the case for a Democrat in New York. But now we're shot up to 39%. And why? Well, Rachel Charlie, it's it's not the only voters, largely it's black voters, Latino voters, and, and what we would all expect to some extent to have everything that's happened at the university campuses and after uh, the war in Israel, the Jewish voters. Yes, absolutely. I think this is going to be a year of minority unexpected demographics that are moving towards Trump. And if people have generated, it can actually play out the election this way. It will have generational repercussions. I think it's my own dad who comes from a union, Democrat, you know, Mexican American family. He voted, he was in the military, he voted for Ronald Reagan. Um, mostly because he was like, the so military was so demoralized then. Um, I guess we're there too right now. Um, and he voted for Ronald Reagan. And now, generations of, you know, I'm, I'm conservative, my kids are conservative. So this can have generations that want you. Or you away from the system once you're in, you automatically become a small voter. It's not you officially to the other side. Yeah, and you know, it's interesting, you know, whenever you do the matchup polls, I'm always very suspicious of them, especially when you're looking at national polls. Yeah. But uh, what you can really actually uh, uh, glean something from is when you look at these trend lines, and you look at trend lines with, with among, say, black voters, or women voters, or Hispanic voters, and you look at where they were in 2020, it's the same pollster doing the exact same uh, poll, you know, using the exact same methods from 2020 to today. And look at that, you're talking about double-digit gains. Uh, well, this doesn't have the 2020, but, but uh, like among black voters, it went from 4% support for Trump to 29. Uh, among Jewish voters, it nearly doubled. Among Latino voters, it's, I think it was 10 points to his total. And when you look at those trends, that is overwhelming. So the Republican convention is going to be in Milwaukee, and it's going to turn out to be a really good choice for city because um, this headline is really good says that black voters in Milwaukee could actually be determining the election. Here's what they said in this article. They said a few cities have few cities have received as much care and attention from Joe Biden as Milwaukee. The only problem is Milwaukee isn't returning the affection. Not even close. And that could be a big problem for Biden. There's one big reason why black voters in Milwaukee an influential block that can determine if the state remains blue or flips this ball. These voters have serious and lingering doubts about Biden and whether he delivered on his promises to them. There's no danger that Donald Trump will carry this historically democratic city in November, but there is considerable risk that an anemic shot in Milwaukee could cost Biden this critical swing state and possibly the election. I wrote down here, guys, um, almost 40% of the Milwaukee population is but almost 20%, 19 and a half percent are Hispanic. Those are big minority numbers, and Hispanics trend as the most dissatisfied of the population. Well, clearly, this has electoral implications. Everybody's breaking down, political breaking down exactly how this affects the race for president. Wisconsin will be an incredibly important state. It comes down to minority voters, and therefore, it comes down to a lot. But there's another note that's so important, and that is, you know, after years, I guess I find some like, measure of hope in the idea that after decades of pandering to constituencies, there is this sense out there, I think there is a sense, I think it's not just wishful thinking, but there's a sense out there that the pandering is beginning to run its course, it's, begin- it's starting to lose its impact. And you can tell people that the other side is racist, you can tell people, you know, to lean into hey. the identity politics, you can you lean right? into all you were kind of glowing just now. To get their vote. And maybe after a while, it loses its impact. And I think that's what Bill Maher is talking about. That, like, that, that was it. Are the, the light that of the book, heaven. But how? What did you do with it? Where did it go? It's a little scary because he's losing the people who are supposed to be Lario? That really was Lario? The angel from the legends. 
wants to get a fair shot. The ancestors even got his name right on the gravestone. The chief will be thrilled. Now, now, Wendelog, don't be a sore loser. She is clearly different from us. The sword appeared before her, along with the angel's name and all that other stuff. Because she doesn't carry our mongrel teeth. Heaven doesn't give a damn how special we are. We're born with evil inside us. Heaven doesn't need to know any more than that. I know you're willing to tear anyone apart to uphold our people's honor, but you insult, you just refuse to face the truth. We are the way we are because our ancestors' bodies were corrupted by the abyss. It does the same thing to plants and animals. There's nothing heroic or special about it. It doesn't make us better, and it doesn't make us worthy. The latest stage Probably beyond. Call your boss racist. That is just. Wow, I mean, that's amazing. Heaven has truly blessed you. Yes, power. It's the most majestic thing I've ever seen in all my life. Is this what the sun is like, Ryan? Yes, it's similar. But this light is more. golden? Chief Soul needs to see this. Now that we have the power of angels on our side, he can't say no. He'll have to assemble a troop to storm the maze. You Uplanders care about your kids, right? Help us save ours. Without them, we won't survive. And then, the perils of the maze won't be so bad if we go together. We'll make our way through it and find a way to Kanaka. Let's go. We'll take the short route. Well, the only route, really.
one time I, so this is a crazy story, because it, it should not happen. I did not, I had insurance that did not cover me for childbirth. Some cash, but rubbing the glass.
Okay, let's save it here. I'm going to level up these guys next time, alright guys? Peace out.